Assalamu alaikum. alaykum. Mr. Moderator, our distinguished guests, brothers and sisters, our friends and, and our enemies. Bismillah wa salatu wa salam wa rasulullah wa ba'd. So, in my last video, in my last response to this dude, Nasser Hanbali, you remember call I said this. Saying that Black Lives Matter is joining the enemies of Islam, that's a fatwa. That's a fatwa. I also mentioned very clearly that Nasser Hanbali, when he does his refutations, he takes general fatwa from the ulama and he applies them to specific situations. Like with uh, Sheikh Muqbil rahimahullah died 20 years ago. Okay, died 2001. And he used the fatwa of Sheikh Muqbil rahimahullah to apply it to this specific group, Black Lives Matter. And I also made a challenge to Nasser Hanbali. So you think I'm not sincere, right? You think I'm doing this for views? No problem. I'm ready to delete my videos now, actually, under one condition. Nasser humbly, since you're doing all these fatawa against, you know, my video, no problem. You're applying general fatawa on specific situations, no problem. All, all the kuffar without restrictions are the enemies of Allah, no problem. This waraka. I want you to come on your channel with your voice, say, I, Nasar Hanbali, believe that Waraka bin Nafil is the enemy of Allah. And I also believe that the Messenger of Allah sent the Muslims underneath the protection of the enemy of Allah, Najashi, to the first through the first hijra. And I believe that Shaykh Uthaymin Rahimahullah meant this when he said all the kuffar without exception are the enemies of Allah. So now Nasser humbly responds again. So let's have a look at his response. <laughs> نعم كان على ملة إبراهيم ولما ذهبوا بالرسول إليه بعدما نزل الوحي على الرسول واستغربه الرسول لأول مرة ثبته وبين له أن هذا هو الذي ينزل على موسى نعم سائر يقول ما المقصود بأن النجاشي كان على دين النصارى الصحيح 
اي نعم كان على دين النصارى الصحيح ثم اسلم رحمه الله اسلم واتبع الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم فلما مات النجاشي بلغ ذلك الرسول صلى الله عليه وسلم وبموته وقت موته جاءه الوحي من السماء فخرج بأصحابه وصلوا عليه صلاة الغايب عليه الصلاة والسلام ورحم الله النجاشي نعم سبيسيفيك في التعاوى سبيسيفيك في التعاوى So I know a lot of you haven't caught on yet, but don't worry, I'm going to get to that, inshallah, don't worry. But I have a question directed directly to Nasr al-Hambulis. What exactly is going on here? Are you conceding that, yes, you do use general fatawa for specific situations? Or are you saying that you're a fatwa shopper? So let me just walk you through what happened here, guys. As you know, Nasr al-Hambulis, he made this really abhorrent video concerning the protesters. And I called him out on it. So he made this fatwa. Then what do you think about demonstrating and protesting under the banner of the enemies of Islam, such as BLM? He further continues. This doesn't mean that we stand side by side under the banner of sodomites chanting when they chant, moving when they move, being led by them and seeking honor and glory from them. So I ask him, are you making fatwa? And he comes with a video basically to say, no, I'm not making a fatwa. I got this fatwa from Sheikh Huthaymin, who says that all the disbelievers are the enemies of Allah. And all means all. It doesn't mean some, it means all. He came with a fatwa of Sheikh Huthaymin and Sheikh Salif Zen. And I said, you cannot take the general fatwa of Darlama and apply it to specific groups. You can't do that. You cannot take a general fatwa and apply it in specific situations. I also told him that the Black Lives Matter protests that are happening all over the world are not being organized by the Black Lives Matter organization itself. So what are you saying? That these are the sodomites and these are the enemies of Allah that you're talking about? Deliver us justice. Amen. We pray that Allah takes care of the oppressors. Amen. We pray that whoever wakes up with a negative intention towards human beings Allah deals with that person. We pray that those in power who are misusing their power, may Allah remove them from power. Amen. May Allah replace them with Amen. people who will make good use of this power. We pray that Allah will make things easy for us. Amen. And that's why I challenged him. I challenged him. If you believe what you're saying is correct, that you can apply a general fatwa in specific situations, then say that I, Nasr al believe that Najashi and Waraka are the enemies of Islam, and this is the belief of Sheikh Uthaymin. And all of a sudden, all of a sudden, he was able to find a specific fatwa. But not only that, this guy is so hasty to prove that he's right, that he legit contradicts himself with his own fatwa that he used for proof against me. Now I'm going to show you something. Look, look, look. This is the proof that he used against me on his own channel, okay? You can't make this stuff up, okay? He used this Sheikh Uthaymin's fatwa to say all the believers are the enemies of Allah. All of them, okay? This is what he's saying. Any kind of disbeliever, whether he is Christian, okay, as you can see here. But yet, when I asked him specifically about Najash and Waraka, all of a sudden, right? It's not any kind of Christian. Look at this question. Does it mean that Najashi was upon the correct Christian religion? You cannot make this stuff up. So either all the disbelievers are enemy, enemies of Allah, or there is an exception to the rules, which is what I was saying from the beginning, from the first uh, video I made that you are making a fatwa that the Sheikh are not making. You cannot make a specific fatwa from a general fatwa of the ulama. This is fatwa shopping. This is weaponizing the fatwa of the ulama to suit yourself. This is exactly what the jihadis do when they want to declare the any land the lands of harb. That's exactly what they do. 
They take a general fatwa and apply it to anybody. The kindergarten teacher, your children's kindergarten teacher, the children in that class, they're all enemies of Allah. The convenience store worker, she's an enemy of Allah. The nurse in the hospital, she's an enemy of Allah. Of Allah. The doctor that's saving your life, they're the enemies of Allah. So what are the implications of this? First of all, Nasr humbly, he knew, he knew about this. He knew that you could not apply a general fatwa on a specific situation, but yet he insisted on applying general fatwa on specific situations. Otherwise, there's no way he would bring up this fatwa, these fatwa. If you can bring a specific fatwa for Najashi and Waraka, you can bring a specific fatwa for Black Lives Matter. It's a no-brainer. Furthermore, the other implication of this is that he has done this for every single person he refuted, all of them, bringing general fatawa and applying it specifically on people. And he knows that you cannot do that. If you can bring a specific fatwa for Najashi and Waraka, you can bring a specific fatwa for Shadid Muhammad, for Tahir Wyatt, for Mufti Munir, for Abu Safiya, for all the people that he refutes. You could bring specific fatawa for that as well. But you don't, you bring general fatawa. So, unless you are a mufti, you, you yourself, Nasr Hamdi, unless you're a mufti, you need to tell us where you got this fatwa that Black Lives Matter are the enemies of Allah. Unless, of course, you're uh, the one who's giving the fatwa. من بعض الإخوان سامحهم الله يصير عندهم هوى على أحد أو بغض لأحد من طلبة العلم أو من العلماء فيسألونك عن سؤال أن تجيب عليه هم يركبونه على ذلك الشخص يركبونه على هذا الشخص وأنك تعنيه يقولون قال فلان في فلان كذا وكذا أنت ما طرع عليك ذلك فلان ولا فلان ولا علام أن تجيب على سؤال فقط هم يركبونه يقولون هو قصده فلان قصده الطائفة الفلانية ويدبلجون في الأشرطة ويألفون كتب لأن فلان قال في فلان كذا وأجاب عن كذا وقصدهم بهذا قصدهم بهذا الإفساد بين الناس والتحريش بين طلبة العلم وإيقاع العداوة بين طلبة العلم فنحن نحذركم ونعيدكم بالله من هذه الخصلة أن أن أن, أن لا تغتروا بها أو تنطلي عليكم تحذروا منها غاية الحذر نعم So between me and Nasr al-Humbli who's the shaykh talking about here? And let me tell you something Nasr al-Humbli you see this thing that's going on between you and me with this back and forth? I don't play that, okay? I don't do the debate thing going back and forth online, confusing the Muslims. I don't do that. That's not me. That's not my thing. So if you think that you're going to come back with some other, uh, what you would call it, uh, you know, triple down, quadruple down, and I'm going to pay, pay attention to that, no, it's not going to go down like that. I requested one thing from you. It's the third video. I'm requesting it again. Take down that Black Lives Matter video. You're not black. You're not concerned with the black community. That video is going to get somebody hurt. And all those brothers that signed off on that, you guys should be completely ashamed of yourself. If you take that video down, as well as the Shaykh Uthameen, calling all the Kufar the enemies of Allah, all of them, just like a jihadi, you take those down, I'll take my videos down, maybe one day we'll grab a tea, laugh about it with our grandkids, whatever, no problem. I don't care about the likes, okay? I don't care about that. You can send the dunya for all I care to dislike my videos, I don't care. It's the safety of the Muslims. It's always been about the safety of, of the Muslims for me. I don't know what, what it's about for you. If it's about your channel, whatever. But if you don't do it, 
it will get exposed. I'm not going back and forth. There's a third time. It's like a big waste of time. There's a third time now. Take down those videos. I'll take down mine. No harm, no foul. Spawner, let him come shadow the land. We're still for a cup with two beads. You love me? Yes. You love me? Yes. You love me? Yes, I love you. You love me? Yes. You love me? Yes. You love me? Yes. You love me? Yes. You love me? Yes, only you.